Did you know dehydration could help you save food that you would otherwise throw away? I'll tell you what, I got a lot of foods left over from my vegetable garden and I don't know what to do with them. I try to give them away. You know, you can only give away so many tomatoes and what have you. So anyway, uh, Luann Duncan's with us today from the Family and Consumer Science Department. It's going to help us dehydrate some of these things. Thanks for right. coming uh, with us here today. I've got a big right. onion and you right. have dehydrated some of these. Mm -hmm. So what foods can be dehydrated? Mostly your fruits and vegetables. Now some people do jerky or meat jerky. Okay, a yeah. real hot trend right now is vegetable or proteins like tofu. Okay. However, USDA hasn't really tested all of that right now, but I did play around with it a little bit. The main thing is, is that you do it at a hot enough temperature and the USDA has your recommendations. Okay. Some things have to be um, boiled first or heated first to make sure they're safe. Okay. So they're worried about what? Bacteria building up Absolutely, in them? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, um, of that in, nature. in a matter of fact, there are people who've gotten very sick wow. from bacteria that has grown because you're putting it in a dark, warm place. Okay. And if the bacteria isn't gone, you can grow things that make you sick. So be careful, folks. You want to yeah. make sure you do everything right. Can right. I do tomatoes? You can do tomatoes. They're okay, great. They good. taste just like sun-dried tomatoes, okay. but you don't have to put them in oil. Okay. Now we have a couple of units here, and you've cut up some things here. When you're doing something like the peppers that we yeah. see here, uh, is there a certain thickness to them? The thicker, this is a little bit too thick. I think you want it um, fairly slender. Um, some of the things, if you get it too thin, it's just really just going to shrivel up and be nothing. Mm -hmm. Your onions here were pretty thin, but you know, you want them dry. Yeah. And if it's too thick, it will take a long time to dry. It uses a lot of energy. Here mm -hmm. in Florida, we can't do solar drying. We have to do a dehydrator. Okay, and which we have one here. Right. And you've already put the, uh, the peppers in there. Yeah, now, just you just put layers uh, of different ones here? Right. Now, for this is a lot of lost space, so I would cut it up and put it a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. The air has to circulate in between, but yeah. each layer has you can put more and more on. You can put different things in there. In this particular case, you've got peppers. You could put onions and other things, but if something's mm -hmm. going to absorb the flavor, the air goes straight down. It's going to meld those flavors. And one that's like this, the air pushes out and therefore the flavors shouldn't merge as much. But you still aren't going to want to put grapes and onions in the same time. <laughs> Okay. Uh, now, how long is it going to take? Okay, and that's the science of it. You want your vegetables to be crispy, and your fruit should be somewhat pliable. If you put it in a, like a jar or put it in the refrigerator and there's moisture or condensation, it isn't quite dry enough. The problem is, is we have moist days okay. right now. We have less humidity, and you know, depending on the time of year, um, it's it's not exact science. How much fruit mm -hmm. is it a drier vegetable? Okay. So um, we have suggested times in our materials materials that we can share, but you still have to just go by sight. So is this really good for us in Florida? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. How many okay. times do you go to your refrigerator and, oops, I bought all this extra yeah. vegetable. Now, obviously, lettuce and watermelon aren't going to be your best things to dehydrate, but rather than throw it away, we waste so much food and it tends to be our fruits and vegetables. Why not dehydrate it? Have it ready for the hurricane. Have it ready just to pull out just to and use. use. Yeah. Right. Now, this looks like it's a pretty sophisticated unit here yeah. and you have onions on the bottom. Right. Uh, what else do you have here? Well, I did try some tofu, even like though we don't well. have exact, right, and it's yeah. nice even slices mm -hmm. and mushrooms, I've done grapes, pineapple, you can do fruit leathers, you can do vegetable leathers. In this particular case, I took a whole tray of the onions and I put it into a coffee grinder and now I have onion powder and it doesn't make that much. Now you know why it's so expensive to buy onion powder, but if you've used a half an onion rather than throw it away, dehydrate it and use it. Yeah, last question, mm -hmm. is the nutrition still there? It, it doesn't stay as long. This is the one type of food preservation that we don't keep the nutrition as long as really? the others. You're going to get the carbohydrates, you're going to get some energy from it, but yeah, you can store it for 100 years, but by the end, you're only going to have some calories left. Okay. Luann, thank you very mm -hmm. much. Thank we you. appreciate mm -hmm. it. And now you know what to do with those leftover food items, and you can go ahead and dehydrate them and have them for uh, many years, but maybe not with all the nutrition in them.